Well, this is on top of everything else that's already been supplied into the Ukrainians. And remember, um, the UK has been supplying the NLAW anti-tank missile, which is similar to Javelin. Javelin's coming from the United States. Um, but uh, we've been supplying the Ukrainians with weapons before the Russians even invaded. Um, and that's why you, the Ukrainians see the, the UK leading the way uh, with the international community and the support that's going in to help them defeat the Russians. Um, and with Boris Johnson's visit yesterday, I think he was the, the first G7 leader um, to visit uh, Kiev and to President Zelensky. So, again, he's setting a precedent. It's very interesting that he made that surprise visit yesterday. Um, uh, other people on the program have already suggested that means that uh, military intelligence obviously thought that uh, it was sufficiently safe for him to do so. Uh, therefore, in other words, the Russians really have pulled out at least of that area. Uh, yes, the intelligence picture is um, pretty good. You know, there's an awful lot of effort by the international community being put in to monitor what the Russians are doing, and a lot of that is being fed to the Ukrainians. Uh, I know Boris Johnson, um, from your know, anecdotal reporting, has been wanting to get in, into Kiev for some time now, um, and with the Russians pulling back from the north of Kiev, uh, it has been deemed safe enough to get him in. Um, and you know, it was um, quite cheeky of the Ukrainian embassy to um, put it up yesterday and, and announce it by just saying surprise with a little smiley face. Yeah, yeah. Mind you, you can't blame them. I mean, t in terms of in terms of morale, not just for the Ukrainian military, but for the Ukrainian civilian population, whether they've been displaced out of the country or not, what what sort of impact does this have, and what message does it also send to someone like Vladimir Putin? Well, for morale, it's it's huge. <clears throat> Your world leaders, leaders of international communities, uh, and, and remember, um, the president of the European Commission had, uh, visited the, the day beforehand. That that is critical to the morale of the Ukrainians, so they know that um, it's not just them fighting the Russians; it's the international community that's fighting the Russians. And it sends a very clear message to Vladimir Putin that the international community is, is coming together. And and actually, I think the timings of you know, the the EU. Uh, uh, president's visit uh, and then Boris Johnson going in. Putin's got this view that Brexit has caused a, a, a friction between the EU and the UK. And that's something that he's been trying to um, split even further. And this shows a, a, a effectively a unity.